Borax versus Contact Solution. Hi guys, welcome to Studio B and today I will be testing Borax versus Contact Solution. So, lots of people say that Borax is better to use and lots of people say that um, Contact Solution is better to use. So, I'm going to be testing that. This is Borax. I use it like when I'm washing the dishes even and all my like people that watched it are all like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're doing that. That's so dangerous. People have been burned, right? This is borax. It's a mineral and it can't hurt you unless you like put like a bunch of it on you. And it can hurt you if you use like way too much. But if you use like up to like a half a cup, it's not that bad. This is commonly confused with this, boric acid, which is so dangerous that I shouldn't be holding it right now. But when I asked my dad to buy me borax, he thought it was boric acid and he was just as worried as you guys were. So, make sure that if you're asking your dad to go take you to Target and buy you borax, because you want to make some too, make sure to tell him that it's not boric acid. So we are going to be making this time side by side so that you guys can see that I'm using the same exact ingredients, same exact recipe. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting in one half cup of glue into each. I just bought this on Amazon, this gallon of glue, because I knew I'd be using it for slime. And it was only 13 bucks. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's saving money. Instead of just like going to Target and buying a bunch of the little ones. For sign number two, we need four eggs. Right now is the time if you want to add your food coloring. I'm going to be doing birthday cake batter today, but I won't have the birthday cake rainbow sprinkles. But it's still a really pretty color, which is why I'm doing it. So it starts out like a really bright yellow, and then it looks like when you've like cracked egg yolks. But once you stir it in, it turns into this really light, pretty yellow. All right, you guys, so the first one that I'm going to be doing right now is the borax one. So I'm going to be adding one fourth teaspoon. All right. You're gonna mix that all in. Then you're gonna add another fourth teaspoon, which makes it into a half teaspoon. And once you see it kind of pulling from the sides, then you know that is the time that it's like starting to form. So you wanna keep on stirring it. And now my sign is basically pretty much almost come together, so I'm gonna my hands and just kind of work with it. So I just got out my slime that I used for the borax and it's great, I love it. I'm working out the lumps because there were a lot because of the not shaving cream or something, I guess. And now I'm gonna add the lotion because that just totally helps. Um, it makes it less sticky, it makes it softer, it makes it more stretchy. It also makes it smell better. I don't know. I love this slime. It's really thick, so I think I might um, just add in some cornstarch to make it butter slime. <laughs> All right, our borax slime is working out beautifully. So, slime number one, done. Slime number two, okay. Our contact solution. 
And then we're gonna put in a little bit of baking soda. Always start small. It's the best way to go. All right, and then you're just gonna mix it. Here we go, it's pulling together. So this contact solution is my dad's and he'll kill me if he knows that I took it. But the thing is, contact solution, um, you can get ones about half this size for about a buck at the 99 cent store. Um, this one is the expensive kind because my dad actually uses it. Keep on mixing, ooh yes! Here we are, mm -hmm. right on. Look at this. Grab out the rest from my bowl. This is looking great, oh my goodness. This is my first time using contact solution and I'm loving it. I can't believe it's working out so well. Thought it would just be blah. It is a little sticky right now. Just a little bit more of this. Some more of that. Yay! Hooray! Huzzah, huzzah! I'm very impressed. All right. So now, actually, right now, I'm kind of feeling this one. I don't know why. I'm maybe it's because I'm just kind of baffled, but I'm really liking this. This is a little bit harder. A lot harder. I love this. It's not sticking either. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. It's so soft. Both of them are pretty glossy. So I don't think that made an effect. So when I feel these both at the same time, I can totally feel that the contact solution, this one, is a lot softer, smoother. I can feel that this one is soft, but it's not as soft as this contact solution one. I'm loving it. So that gives one point to the contact solution. And now, for like which one was easier to use, definitely the borax one, because it's just one ingredient and you just put it little by little, right? It just t it was just a lot easier. And for stickiness, it also gives another point to the borax. All right, which one does the poking thing better? I <laughs> just love doing that poking thing. Poke, poke, poke. Now if I do them at different times so I can totally hear it. Definitely this one. But I just love this one because it's so soft. But it is a little bit sticky. The stretch factor. And that gives another point to the contact solution. This one is pretty sticky though. <laughs> the one that is the winner is the Borax. The Borax one is just a lot easier to use. Just a lot better. I love the texture still. It's very glossy and it does do the poking thing very well, which I love. I just love that noise. And it doesn't stick to your hands as much, 
But this one, oh, I just love this one because it's super duper soft. And I love that. I love all the softness in it. So, Borax wins, and this one comes super close. But I love them both. So whichever one is you have, make sure to make slime because I love slime, and I know that you'll love slime too. And make sure that you know that this is not this. See us next time on Studio B. No matter what greens you have, make some slime. And make sure to t tell me and comment below if your slime went well, because I want to hear it. And see us next time on Studio B. Thank <laughs> you.